Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Thank you everyone for joining me. This is going to be an introduction podcast video for a new playlist I'll call The Sciences. Now I'm a big nerd, a geek in a way. I love science, always have. It's probably my best subject in school. I every I like to delve into some of the real brain twisters and things like how can the universe come from nothing or abiogenesis. But in general, I like all science, technology, breakthroughs, and I want to sort of do podcasts on certain subjects that interest me. So if you look at the natural sciences, uh, the social sciences, the formal sciences, in each area there's something that's going to draw my attention, or uh, there are times I go on to YouTube and I'll watch a whole lecture series on a, a whole year of a university's breakthrough. So if they're doing superconductivity or quantum computers, there are medical breakthroughs. I'm really interested in neurology and the neuroscience. And there's also topics I might touch on, like how science has failed us in certain areas. How we need the peer review system to be tested constantly. How we have social sciences that are so watered down in pseudo science that it's ruined the reputation of like psychology. But then we have new things that are sure in the foundations and using better science. We got evolutionary biology and psychology. You pair that with the breakthroughs in neuroscience and how we are learning more about the brain. These topics always interest me. Human behavior has always interested me. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a flub. So I have a big interest in these things. And for me, the path through science and the truth and knowledge is my spirituality. How I view the cosmos and space and time. Learning about how wormholes are formed and how the laws of nature are vast and wonderful and you don't need to put an imaginary sentient being behind it for there to be spirituality. I see wonder and beauty in everything. And I think I'm going to use this playlist to highlight some of the things I find in my, what I call the wheel of interest and just so I don't get bogged down and obsessed about things, I switch from topic to topic and I'll do little deep dives and learn a little bit more about philosophy, learn a little bit more about, um, you know, physics. And sometimes it's just funny videos and humanitarian things. But when I'm on my quest for science information and new breakthroughs and Watching how the scales of time keep bouncing back and forth between, oh, this is going to happen within 10 years. And then you find out five years later, that's going to be another 12. And then there are things that are going to be 10 years in the future that are now going to be two years. And why that is and how science keeps trying to find the truth and discarding the stuff that don't make sense. And it might be a difficult road for some. I don't like woo. I have a real um, dislike for uh, the con men of the uh, whatever community or fields. Now, I don't mind a personal story. You know, um, you know, I struggled through my life and I got into this certain thing and you tell your story and how it helped you and shaped you. That's really not what I dislike. Those are justified for yourself. And, you know, maybe they turn you into a different path. 
It's when people say they know things. It's when people are selling a product based on knowledge that is faulty and dangerous. And I'm human, so I might make uh, mistakes. I try not to be triggered. But, uh, you know, when you consider yourself a critical thinker, I also want to go through some of these um, studies and theories and some maybe sometimes show where this is leading to nowhere. You got to verify the site. Is it a real study? Does the study have links? Do the links work? Do the links go to a site that's, um, you know, has a good reputation? In the same way I would do it with politics. So I try to discipline myself that way. So maybe some of the topics will be that. But just my general love of science. I'm always reading these articles and sometimes they're opinion pieces and sometimes they're studies. And sometimes there are things that change the consensus of the science community. You get enough facts together from research and doing real studies and tests, observations and mathematics. And I think that's where true knowledge lies and where we live in a time where it's somewhat popular to be anti-intellectual. It's looking at people who are ridiculing stupid beliefs like me and having no real arguments. And then when you put out stuff about the sciences and things that are being proven as the most likely event, and we can get into what is 95% over probability. And there's a whole science aspect to that, what they consider a theory, a hypothesis, but in general, this is just a introduction to the playlist, and I'm not sure how quick I'll get to it, because I have my music one up. I haven't gotten to that either. It all depends on what's going on. We're now looking at second week of the so-called lockdown with the coronavirus. I might start doing some live YouTube or Facebook streams to see how much I can trust my um, Wi-Fi. And one of the topics, I can easily just look at an article that I have. I have so many of them that I look over. But I could just go up and read one. Maybe get some feedback on it. Discuss it a little bit. And I don't need to get too wordy and heady. And I just love the aspect of looking for the answers, looking for the truth, and having the road signs point a certain direction by at least somewhat legitimate sources. So science is telling me, here's the direction your path of truth is going on. And on the other hand, you have a theist or uh, believers in certain things. And there's like five signs, all pointing in different directions. And when you go to the side with the science and you go look at the arrows pointing in that direction, it's all backed by evidence and tests and observations and tests upon tests and peer review. And on the other side is just hearsay and belief and faith. And that might sum up this podcast. It's um, something I've been wanting to do. I just haven't had the time and the resources. So now I have a better setup, learning more. I'm getting better at editing levels, filters, and OBS. So I'm going to try to do some things that I had planned on from the beginning. And science was always one of them. So maybe I'll get some feedback. We'll talk about certain things. And as the days progress and I'm limited in work, like most people might be, Although part of my part-time work was doing um, delivery, so that has picked up. I'll try to get more science stuff out and talk about the progress that might be made in certain areas, how important I think a issue might be, and show that there's a, a path and a trail of evidence that is the heart and soul of science that shows you we can test things and we can move forward. And then there's the more 
um, you know, the uh, ethereal or the, um, you know, it's, you can't use real science on it. You have to do more theoretical thinking. And those things are like, you know, theoretical physics and the more ethereal type aspects. And even those are legitimate. And it could be argued and debated. So my love of science is going to uh, give me an opportunity to start doing podcasts and videos on it. I've been holding off a little bit, trying to get better, getting disciplined with doing a certain amount of videos every week, knowing my limits, knowing what I can and can't do. And now that things have changed, I've had an opportunity and I might take a shot. So this is the sciences. It is a interview. Uh, it is a um, introduction to a playlist. I hope I get feedback. You guys know what to do. I'll see you all next time. Everybody stay healthy. Wash your feet.